Everything I need is already in me. No need to search for the treasure that is innately a part of you. These words, profound in their simplicity, serve as a beacon that guides us on our journey through life. A journey that, for each of us, is as unique as our fingerprints. In the vast expanse of our existence, we often find ourselves seeking externally for what we believe we lack. Be it success in our professional lives, fulfillment in our personal lives, or tranquility in the chaotic whirlwind that life sometimes presents. But the truth, as echoed in the quote, is that all we seek, all we aspire to become, all we need, is already within us. Imagine, if you will, a treasure chest, a chest that contains all the riches of the world. Now, picture that chest within you. It's not a metaphorical concept, but a reality. You are the treasure chest and within you are the tools, the resources, the strengths and the resilience you need to navigate through life. Self-reliance is not just about surviving, it's about thriving. It's about recognizing that you are your most significant asset. It's about understanding that the power to shape your destiny, to find balance and to achieve your dreams lies within you. We all have an inner compass, a guiding force that leads us to our true potential. It's that voice within us that whispers, you can do this during challenging times. It's that innate belief in our abilities, that self-confidence that pushes us to take risks, to step out of our comfort zones and to rise above our limitations. And so, as we delve deeper into this dialogue, we will uncover the story of an individual who found balance in their life, a story that serves as a testament to the power of inner strength and self-reliance, a narrative that is a testament to the treasure within us all. And so, we embark on a journey of balance where the compass is within us. Imagine a life lived in constant chaos, juggling work, studies and personal life until one day balance is achieved. Picture this, a young professional, let's call them Alex. Alex is a go-getter, always on the move, always chasing the next big thing. They work a full-time job, attend school part-time and try to maintain an active social life. But as you can imagine, this isn't easy. It's a constant juggle, a never-ending cycle of deadlines, commitments and expectations. At work, Alex is the star employee, always going above and beyond. At school, they are the model student, juggling assignments and exams with grace. And in their personal life, they make time for friends, family and hobbies. But beneath this facade of perfection, Alex is struggling. They are constantly stressed, always tired and perpetually on the brink of burnout. The turning point comes one day when Alex realizes that they are not living but merely surviving. They are going through the motions, ticking off boxes and chasing after goals that don't bring them joy. This realization is a wake-up call. It's a moment of clarity that makes Alex question their choices and reassess their priorities. The first step towards balance is admitting that there is a problem. And that's exactly what Alex does. They acknowledge that their current lifestyle is unsustainable, that they are overworked, underrested, and not truly happy. This acknowledgement is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to their strength. It takes courage to admit that you're not okay, that you need to make changes. And so, Alex embarks on a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. They start by identifying their stresses and triggers. They make a list of all the things that cause them stress and anxiety and then they start working on ways to manage these stressors. This could be anything from delegating tasks at work, seeking help with school assignments or setting boundaries in their personal life. Next, they focus on self-care. They realize that they've been neglecting their physical and mental health in the pursuit of success. So, they start incorporating exercise into their daily routine, eating healthier and making time for relaxation and leisure. They also seek professional help, consulting with a therapist to help them navigate their feelings and emotions. Alex also starts to prioritize their time and energy. They learn to say no to things that don't align with their goals or values. They start setting boundaries, both at work and in their personal life, and they learn to respect these boundaries. They start focusing on quality over quantity, realizing that it's not about how much you do, but how well you do it. 
Lastly, Alex learns to celebrate their victories, no matter how small. They learn to appreciate their progress, to be proud of their achievements, and to be kind to themselves. They realize that they are not defined by their productivity or their accomplishments, but by their character and their values. This journey towards balance is not easy. It's a process that requires patience, perseverance, and self-compassion. There are setbacks, there are challenges, and there are days when Alex feels like giving up, but they don't. They keep going, they keep trying, and they keep believing in themselves. And one day, they realize that they've found it. Balance. They are no longer constantly stressed or overwhelmed. They are able to juggle work, school, and personal life without feeling like they're on the verge of collapse. They are happier, healthier, and more fulfilled. They are living, not just surviving. And the best part, they realize that this balance was always within them. They didn't need to search for it outside. They didn't need to chase after it. It was always there, waiting to be discovered, waiting to be embraced. And thus, balance was found not outside, but within. Balance, like a steady ship in a stormy sea, can keep us afloat amidst life's tumult. Let's talk about balance. Not the kind of balance that keeps you from tumbling off a tightrope, but the balance that keeps your life running smoothly. It's the equilibrium that allows you to juggle the different aspects of your life. Work, school, family, hobbies, health, and more. Without feeling overwhelmed or stretched too thin. Balance is the key to physical health. When we balance our diet with the right mix of nutrients, we fuel our bodies for optimal performance. When we balance rest and activity, we allow our bodies to recover and grow stronger. Without balance, we risk burning out, getting sick or suffering from chronic health conditions. But balance doesn't stop at physical health. It's also essential for our mental well-being. A balanced lifestyle allows for downtime, for moments of quiet contemplation, for the space to breathe and be. It lets us engage with the world around us without feeling overwhelmed by it. It allows us to manage stress, to navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and resilience. Balance is also a key ingredient in overall life satisfaction. It's about recognizing that while work and school are important, they aren't everything. It's about making time for relationships, for hobbies, for the things that bring us joy and feed our souls. It's about understanding that success isn't just about achievement, but also about contentment. When we live a balanced life, we're not just surviving, we're thriving. We're able to pursue our passions without sacrificing our health or happiness. We're able to contribute to the world around us without losing ourselves in the process. Achieving balance isn't always easy. It requires intentionality, self-awareness, and sometimes tough decisions. It may mean saying no to some opportunities in order to say yes to others. It may mean setting boundaries, prioritizing self-care and learning to let go of perfectionism. But the rewards of a balanced life are worth the effort. They're found in the energy and vitality that come from a healthy body, in the peace and resilience that come from a healthy mind, in the contentment and joy that come from a life well-lived. And so, balance isn't just about keeping all of the balls in the air. It's about knowing which balls to keep in the air and which ones to set down, at least for a while. It's about recognizing that you are a complex, multifaceted individual with a variety of needs and desires, and that fulfilling all of them is not only possible but necessary for your well-being. Balance, then, becomes not just a necessity, but a treasure to cherish. Because everything you need to live a balanced, fulfilled life is already within you. You simply need to recognize it, nurture it, and let it shine. The question then arises, how does one find balance? Well, it's not about splitting your time equally among all aspects of your life. It's about finding a harmony that works for you. And this harmony may look different for each one of us. The first key to finding your balance is self-awareness. It's about knowing yourself, your values, your priorities, and your limits. Do you know what truly matters to you? What are those non-negotiables that you can't compromise? What are the things that drain your energy and what are the things that replenish it? Self-awareness is about answering these questions and understanding your unique rhythm. Next, 
comes planning. Once you know what matters to you, it's time to plan your time accordingly. This might be as simple as creating a daily to-do list or as complex as designing a detailed weekly schedule. Remember, the goal here isn't to micromanage every minute of your day, but rather to ensure that your time reflects your priorities. And then we have prioritization. It's about recognizing that not everything requires your immediate attention and energy. Some tasks can wait, some tasks can be delegated, and some tasks might not need to be done at all. Prioritization is about distinguishing between the urgent and the important, and focusing on the latter. Finally, understand that finding balance is a continuous process. There will be times when work takes over and times when family or personal needs require more attention. That's okay. Balance isn't about a perfect equilibrium, but about making conscious choices and adjustments as needed. Remember, the treasure you're seeking, that elusive balance, is already within you. You don't need to search far and wide for it. You need to look inward to tap into your own wisdom and strength. Balance is not a destination but a journey, and the map lies within you. As we navigate the waters of balance, let's remember the treasure within. This journey we've embarked upon today is one of self-realization and empowerment. We've delved into the story of balance, understanding that it's not merely a concept but a way of life. It's the key to unlocking the full potential of our work, school, and personal lives, enabling us to live more fulfilled and enriched lives. We've explored the power of balance, recognizing that it's not a destination, but a continuous journey. It's about finding harmony between our professional ambitions, academic pursuits, and personal passions. It's about understanding that the scales may tip from time to time, but we possess the power to recalibrate and restore equilibrium. We've also discussed strategies for achieving balance. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but a personalized approach. It's about setting boundaries, prioritizing tasks, and making time for self-care. It's about listening to our bodies, respecting our limits, and nurturing our souls. It's about embracing imperfections, celebrating victories, and learning from setbacks. In this journey, we've discovered that the treasure of balance isn't hidden in some far-off land or buried deep beneath the ocean. It's not something we need to seek or strive for. It's innately a part of us. It's in our ability to adapt and adjust, to persevere and persist, to dream and dare. It's in our courage to challenge conventions, to question norms and to create our own path. So as we conclude this journey, let's carry forward these insights. Let's remember that balance is not just about managing our time, but about managing our energy, our focus, and our passion. It's about living consciously, purposefully, and joyfully. It's about embracing life in all its complexity and beauty. Remember, everything you need is already in you. The treasure of balance lies within. So let's tap into this treasure. Let's unlock our potential and let's transform our lives. After all, we are the masters of our destiny, the captains of our ship, and the creators of our story.